Looks like a cool little map here called Enlightenment. I'm gonna check it out. I don't think there's a Bible ending. Uh, let me check the workshop page before I make any assumptions. Uh, there's actually a description here. I don't know if I want to read it or not. A small EE to open a hidden area. So that's maybe the Bible area. Probably not though. Oh, there's 10 radios that contain a story of the map. Radios must be played in a specific specific order. Uh, all right, let's try to read this. Whispers of strange occurrences have been going around in Northern Europe. All Eastern governments deny them, but now they grow stranger. Videos have emerged of an entire town being overrun by the undead. Western-controlled satellites have spotted a small, effect, uh, self, small facility near the town that is... Reported to be given off strange radio emissions, fearing the potential creation of a new weapon of mass destruction. A team are being sent to discover the source of the new terror. Oh, there's so many radios. Any power symbols anywhere? What the heck is that? All right, so we got 1500 or 1500. Let's see if I can see any power symbols. I guess we should try this building out. This might look like a power building. Radios here, but they're not working. So I guess that's not the right order of the radios. Oh man, 2000. <clears throat> This actually lets me go on the other side. Plus some milk. I always like this perk. W. It's like one of the best point weapons from Black Ops 2. Maximum death. So I guess I went the right way here since this I can access the other areas without opening up doors, but let's go and look to see I need to do a round anyway because I need to open up this door maybe because Maybe there will be power behind that door. But I should buy a gun first. No? It's 2,000. Yeah, right, without a gun for round three and four, maybe. Actually, what is this? 900. Box? Boxes over that way. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the box. If I can.
Lighting in this map feels really strangely like, like fog. I think I need to turn on volumetric lighting or something. I probably have it turned on. I don't even know. I want to throw that. Hit the wrong button. At least a thousand points here. We're nine fifty. Oh, uh, creepy hallway. I didn't think this was. I thought this was going. What the heck is that? Iron side. There we go. Oh, that is creepy. Oh. Time to slaughter the hell pigs, comrades. And right, now let's try to find these radios. Is that the secret area? know if these <laughs> looks a little bit better Okay, I'm tells you that activate from right. location four. I arrived at the location earlier this morning. The facility recently completed construction, and I have been assigned to oversee the operations here to ensure it kicks off smoothly. The tree at this location seems to be quite a bit larger than the other examples we've located so far. Its effects also seem to be more severe and fast acting. This facility was constructed using mesh infused walls and floors to prevent the staff from being affected which seems to be working fully and should continue to do so as long as we don't directly expose ourselves to the tree. Anyone who does must be wearing a hazmat suit before doing so. Oddly enough, this location had a structure here before construction of the facility began. No one knows what its purpose was, but we've converted it into a makeshift hospital of sorts. Some of the construction staff is housed there. Not all of them made it through the construction process without issue. Apparently, the use of a dome structure is not required at this location because the waves emitted from the tree are focused solely at the tree's base. Anyways, we already know the effects the tree has. The radiation destroys the body and reanimates it into a mindless drone. I'm not sure what more can be done other than to destroy it and the others. But we've been told that that is not an option as of now. We're here to do the research we've been assigned and I'll continue to update these logs as more discoveries are made. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this tree is making people reanimate. We have to destroy it, I guess, somehow? Maybe not.
any other radios out here? It's been four days since my arrival at this location. Research has proven the tree to be exactly like the others we've found. Surveys of the ground show the roots to extend far into the earth, further suggesting that they must all be connected. We still have no idea how they came to be, but as long as they pose a threat to the world, we have to press on. As more time passes, I wonder more and more why we aren't taking an attempt to eradicate them. But as long as the radiation is contained, I suppose they are of minimal concern to the public health. Construction of the observatory room has been completed. This will allow us to observe the tree from a safe location without the use of hazmat suits. Probing of the tree is planned to begin next week. It's now been about a week since my last log. I, along with the rest of the staff, retired. We want to go home. But we know the consequences. Research has come to a standstill, just as I had thought. We have questions, but the tree provides no answers. I'm recording this log because we now have a new assignment, something that hasn't been tracked yet. In a few days, we will have a shipment arrive. What happens next, I'm not sure. But I'll continue to keep record when I'm able. Okay. <clears throat> It's actually a pretty cool story, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so we got a tree that's like entering people and like making them zombies. I have to destroy this tree? That'd be kind of cool. Is a tree giving us enlightenment? Is that why it's called enlightenment? Oh no. <clears throat> no, that's fine. Is there a radio over here? Let's check it out. This one, boom, four, okay. It's been four days since my last entry. We now know our assignment. Our shipment was completely unexpected. It is a Chinese monk. He arrived alone contacted command to ensure that this was indeed what we were supposed to receive and it is our assignment is even more confusing we have been instructed to place the subject inside of an adequately sized box and bury him at the base of the tree wait a full 24 hours remove the subjects and record our findings I have zero idea what this could possibly aim to accomplish but it is our job we must carry it out. What? They're placing a monk at the bottom of the tree? Now I'm really intrigued to see what happens to this guy.
Since my last entry, I have been informed of what exactly this new assignment of ours is based around. Apparently, Buddhist monks go through a process where they starve themselves of food and water for a long period of time. Once they're ready, they're buried in a box by other monks, where they die, and the remains are mummified due to the lack of water in the body. I'm told this is the path the monks take to reach enlightenment. This process is what we're supposed to be mimicking, I suppose. How this is going to achieve anything, I have no idea. I'm beginning to question the choices of our leaders. But it is our assignment, and we must do it. Preparations are being made now. I'll continue to update. I'm now recording on hour one of the experiment. The subject has been buried by two staff members. The probes in the tree are sending data to us, and we'll continue to monitor still fail to see how this is going to achieve any sort of meaningful information. But I have hopes that maybe after this, we will be allowed to return home and see the end of this once and for all. Okay, so they're putting this monk in a box and putting him near the tree? We're now in hour six of the experiment. It doesn't make any sense, but data shows a spike in radiation from the tree. All staff members have been instructed to stay indoors at all times until this is over. The tree appears to be emitting radiation at a higher elevation than the walls of the facility. Staff members have went missing, last seen outside on the eastern side of the facility. We don't know where they went. Tree's effects on them caused the disappearance. I can't begin to understand what's happening here. Look, okay, I have three zombies left. I only thought I had two. <clears throat> I got four zombies left. Let's try to get into this building. I need to do a round to get some points. Contain this crazy story of a monk. Crazy trees and boxes. Oh, there's another dude. How many zombies did I have? <clears throat> oh my god, my voice. Yeah, sorry if I'm not talking too much during this video. I like lost my voice the other day, and I just when I get it back. <laughs> oh, we got dog round. Okay, that's cool. This is true socialist reform. Is this the box where the monk is in? Hold War Max ammos? No. Okay. Uh, the next perk I want to get is either <clears throat> um, speed or double tap. And then we'll get going for the secret area and then finish this story, I think. Probably hit the box again later, get a different weapon than this MP5. Hopefully, I can get a wonder weapon of some sort. If I knew if there was PhD on this map, I would have kept the M1911s.
I don't see a radio down here. Maybe there's one up here. We're now in hour 15 of the experiment. The radiation emitted from the tree is growing. Multiple staff members have developed symptoms of exposure despite not leaving the inside of the facility. Clearly, the mesh walls are failing at absorbing all of the emissions. I fear that we're all now trapped. Attempting to leave would surely result in our deaths. But remaining here may prove to result in the exact same outcome. We've attempted multiple times to radio for help, blurry, but, but communications with command have ceased. <laughs> Supplies for all. It is the Soviet way. I missed some radios along the way. There's two more radios somewhere. Pretty cool, a little drop down. I think I hit that one already. I think there's one in here. But hour twenty four of the experiment. I don't know how this is possible. It defies all logic and reason. The box was removed from the ground and opened, and the test subject was gone. No traces of him being there could be found. The tree is now emitting over quadruple the radiation that it was when I first arrived. Multiple staff members have been turned. The research and medical buildings have been closed off in an attempt to quarantine the victims. The rest of us are now holed up in the locker and power rooms. I regret to do this, but soon... I don't see an end to this that doesn't result in the death of everyone here. The observatory gives me the best chance as the glass there is more heavily reinforced to resist radiation from the tree. At first I thought the tree was interfering with our to touch Soviet. but I now see differently. They knew this would happen. We were never meant to make it out of here. Something far more sinister is at play in this room right. Hey. One more radio left in this room. It's over. We were all used as a pawn in something we didn't understand. It's clear that whatever happened here was intentional. Similar things may be happening at the other locations too. That's the box. The emissions of the tree have normalized. But there's still no escape for me. The undead are outside, and I can't possibly fight my way out alone. If you find this recording, 
run. Oh, great. So we have a, a tree emitting some kind of radio frequency, right? And then they built this building. I think this building to observe it. And then they were told to put a monk in there because this is what they do when they die. They starve themselves with water and food. And they buried the box next to the tr tree. Took him out, boom, right there, and he was gone. And now the undead are just taking over the facility. Everyone's dying for radiation, and that's the story. I kind of want to know what happens. I hope, hopefully, this person whoever made this map continues this with a story because I kind of like it. I mean, this is like a audio book with zombies. I don't think there's a Bible ending or anything, but it was worth it, this map, I think, sitting here listening to these radios. If it was possible, I think this map should have had a monk boss fight. Um, Too much spice for Nikolai's taste. Maybe like, I don't know, try to like probe the tree or do something to it or insert something into it and then, um, it like brings the monk back or something. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. Is this fight near the tree? But apparently inserting the monk into the tree made it uh, emit more radiation, I guess? So the people who sent us here wanted to kill us anyway. So thanks a lot, peeps. Appreciate it. Or we weren't going to return. No other Bible ending or anything. <clears throat> Alright, I just got around 20. Wish I could run near the tree.
As long as hell pig stand still. I like dogs, but not ones on fire. This Russian is Actually, I already been into this <clears throat> into this map about a half hour. I think just playing it out like this this round twenty might be a little too long of a video for this type of map. I mean, we got to listen to the whole story, see the tree, the hole with the monk. Um, actually, let me just double check to make sure there's no extra... Uh, this is my first ever map. I started off with zero experience in Radiant. Okay, so... I do, I do plan to make more maps in the future and continue the story. Oh, hell yeah. I'm actually really excited to look, looking forward to that, but I'm not sure when that'll be. There's some issues with the map. Okay. Yeah, so there's nothing else really in here. Um, I think... I'm gonna get, get away from that double tap machine. I actually look forward to Enlightenment 2 to continue the story. I mean, I think the story was actually really good. Although I'm hoping, like, if he does make another map eventually, that <clears throat> there is an easter egg or a boss fight of some sort with the monk in the tree. Or maybe it's like another team that comes to investigate what happened to this team. Monk in a box, huh? That's crazy. That's a brazy dude. My guy suck. Let's pack a punch of weapon. Let's do the Pharaoh real quick. See if the camo is like. Cool if it was the color of the. Oh no, it's just gold. Of the tree. The heck? I like shotguns. They are messy and dangerous, like drunk Russian. The sniping sword.
Well, this shotgun's pretty dope. I'll tell you what, I'll pack a punch this weapon and then I'll end it to see how what I don't think I've ever used this weapon before. Storm PSR. I actually really like this. Feels like a sni is this a sniper? This feels like a, this feels like a shoddy. Pack a punch this thing, see what it's like. Lambs to slaughter, dog lambs. Unknown business of these machines remains beyond my understanding. There's lots of bad ends out there. Storm XR4 RX4 AP. Oh, it's red now, they're reticle instead of blue. I kind of like the blue one though. The thing about this gun is it uh, reloads really fast, which is really good. Probably one of the better guns I've seen in a while. Definitely a shotgun. Look, look at that. Look at the spread. It's not a sniper. Oh, but it turns into a sniper if you aim on the sights. See? Boom. One shot. Buckshot. One shot. Oh, it's not really one shot. It's just all concentrated to one. So it's like, it's that spread in one shot or one concentrated shot, I guess. Or That's crazy. This gun is awesome. Well, I guess that's it for me on this map. I mean, leave a like, sub, and give me a comment, and then let me know uh, what else you want to see. If you want to see me play a certain map or another game, I am. St I'm still. I'm still working on two other games. It's just uh, time-consuming, working full jobs and all that. Uh, gotta make time to make <clears throat> to make uh, videos. So I'm still trying to do High on Life. I know no one really watches it on my channel, but I want to play that game and post it, and then. I'm playing Choo Choo Charles, which I don't think is a long game, but it does look fun. So stay tuned for that and uh, check out my vids when I put post them. You know, thank you for watching. Have a good night.